we're going backwards, eh? As society, we are on our way backwards. We have taken everything we've worked for over the past number of, I don't know, hundreds, maybe thousands of years, and we are just going backwards. You know, all lives matter, right? Do they, though? Do they really? Mental health matters, right? Does it, though? Does it really? Do you really give a shit about other people? I mean, if you do, if you do, you will understand and respect that everybody has a choice. Everybody has a voice. Everybody is one. We, humans, on planet Earth, are one. I mean, that's what we've been fighting for, haven't we? All lives matter. We've put third washrooms in institutions, be it schools, be it restaurants, be it public spaces, because not only do we have male and female, we now have folks that are not, well, can't decide, let's say. But that's okay, isn't it? Isn't it supposed to be? Isn't that why we spent the money to put those washrooms in? Isn't this what we've been fighting for for so many years? To be able to say, yes, yes, that's okay, we accept you. And we fight, and we fight, and we fight, and we wave flags, and we make special days for this stuff. All of it. Mental health. We all stand together and we talk about mental health. And we've all seen people over this past, I don't know, number of months, people we know, that have taken their own lives. Because they can't take it anymore. Yet here we are as a society. Here we are, eh? Bright and shiny, on social media, glorifying things that should never be glorified. I asked somebody the other day, how you doing? They responded to me, said, I'm great, I'm vaccinated. Pardon me? I didn't ask you what your health status is. You know what? But, I mean, for that matter, have you got gonorrhea? Ever had AIDS? Suffer from a little bit of cancer? Any of that stuff? No? Been to the doctor lately? No? Huh, interesting. You see, we all have a choice. Yet we, collectively, are not allowing we to have a choice. We are attacking each other. Whether you are pro or you are against, we are attacking each other. We are not allowing each other to make our own individual decisions. Instead, we attack. Then we judge. Then we tell people, based on our own opinion... Maybe a little bit of BS fact from the tiny bit of reading that most people ever spend doing. What you should be doing. And we start pointing fingers. And we start insulting. All the while, we forget about the fact that we have fought so hard for equality. Hell, earlier this spring when we had Gypsy Moth attacking our trees and eating all the leaves, we decided to change the name Gypsy Moth to LLD. Because it might be offensive to gypsies. Yet here we are, ripping each other publicly, stating to people that they are wrong for the decision they made, whichever decision they made. When in the hell was it any of yours or my business what somebody else's medical situation is? And don't tell me it's about protecting other people. Because if that's the excuse you're going to use, my question is, when was the last time you ran out and smoked a, uh, slapped a cigarette out of somebody's mouth? Or put a chain on a pop machine because you go, ha, pop is bad for people. Or what about protesting outside of fast food restaurants because, well, we know that all the oil, the grease, and everything else that goes in there causes heart disease. Bet you haven't done that in a long time. I bet you haven't done that ever. Yet here we are as a society. So ready and willing as keyboard tough guys to rip into people and hide behind a screen to tell people what you think and how they should think and how they should feel and what choice they should make. And if they don't make the choice that you think is right, they're wrong. Who the hell are you? Who is anybody to pass judgment on somebody else? What have we been fighting for? For so long. All the protests, all the rallies, all the days. 
All the things we come up with to try to create equality and choice and give everybody a voice. What the hell are we doing? Have you even sat back and thought about this for a second? It's wrong. It's all wrong. I want to say we need to stand up. The crazy part is because we are so divided, stand up for what? How about stand up for humanity? How about stand up for society? How about stand up for everything we've worked for as a human race? You got something to say? Keep it quiet. You got an opinion to be made? Shut up. You don't like somebody else's choice? Look the other way. What did you teach your kids? Don't start a fight. Keep your hands to yourself. Be good. Don't pass judgment on other people. But all this social media stuff, eh? All this social media. Everybody's got something to say now. Everybody's a doctor. Everybody's the smartest person out there. Everybody's got an opinion. Like I said, I don't care what side of the tracks you fall on. I've been saying this since day one, and I'm repeating it right now. Talk to people with respect. Ask people how they're doing. And if you really care, help people. Be there for one another. Stop the attack. Stop passing judgment. Stop calling people out. You don't know what other people are dealing with. And if you've had anything inside of you ever that has stood on the side of equality, that has stood on the side of not passing judgment, that has stood on the side of mental health, and watching people around you not be able to take it anymore. Then understand something. If you have ever once passed judgment on somebody for the decision they've made about what is going on in our current world, then you need to own up and understand that it was wrong. Pass judgment on yourself. Help your family and your loved ones close to you as they have questions, as they have challenges, but do not pass judgment on them. Everybody's got a choice. And if we want to continue to move forward in this world of ours, then you, me, and everybody around us needs to respect what everybody's choice is. So as you go about your day today, Think about what I just said. And give respect to everybody around you. Because we all have a choice.